Hey, what's up guys, it is Saints and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 mods that I want to see come to GTA 5 on PC. If you guys didn't check out my video yesterday, I made a video talking about sort of where modding's at, and in that video, I was saying how the files are encrypted, it would take, you know, a lot longer than expected to break them, and literally right after I made that video, one of the guys from the OpenIV project, he cracked the files, so now it's looking a lot better for mods... And hopefully we'll be seeing some really cool ones in the next like week or two. Also, real quick before we do get into the top five, I am going to be doing sort of like a, a series on my channel based around modding and showing you guys how to install them, you know, what they are and stuff like that. So definitely subscribe. It's going to be really fun. The first episode of that should actually be out in the next few days because there are a couple of little mods that I want to touch on that are out right now. But get into the top five mods that I want to see on PC and let me know in the comment section, you know, what mods you guys want to see as well. But the first one I would like to see would be an apocalypse mod. I don't know if you would call it like a walking dead mod, a zombie mod, an undead nightmare mod, but something that turns the game into an apocalypse. Like the city would be sort of destroyed. There would be cars broken down everywhere. Buildings might even look a little wrecked with fire coming from them, maybe. You know, you obviously wouldn't see too many pedestrians. Maybe the pedestrians would even become zombies. There could also be some sort of, like, story behind it where, like, this maybe virus originated from the humane labs. That would be pretty cool. But just having, like, an apocalyptic world where you, say, start out with no weapons, no cars. You'd have to go around finding things. I think that would be pretty neat. And if they were to implement it into online, and I'll get more into, like, online mods at, sort of at the end. But I think this would be a fun change of pace for online because then it would be sort of like a Daisy experience where not everyone had guns. And, you know, when you met somebody, it's not just a giant, you know, battle. You know, if you had a gun, maybe you could kill him and pick up his guns or something. And, yeah, it's not like Daisy in the sense, you know, you got to worry about eating and everything. But I think it would be a, a fun change of pace. So that's why that's coming in at number five. Coming in at number four... This mod that I would like to see, I guess you would call it a Fast and Furious mod. I, I don't know. The, basically, what this mod would do would change driving in the game. Make it a little bit more realistic. Like, make drifting a lot better. Because that's, like, one thing that I love to do is just drive around. And the, the drifting in the game is kind of a little bit lackluster. So, if they made it sort of, like, real life, that would be pretty sweet. And as well as, like, this would give more customization to cars. You know, maybe this would include, like, vinyls and libraries that you could put on the cars that obviously Rockstar hasn't done yet. And this mod could also have customization like you would see in a Midnight Club or a Need for Speed. Like, a lot more detailed customization. And I think that'd be really fun. Now, this obviously probably wouldn't really work for online just because... You know, if you didn't have this mod, say, installed, then it would be really unfair because then maybe one car would be better than the other. But, I mean, for me, like, one of the main things you do in GTA is drive around a lot of the time. So, this would definitely be something that I would really like in the game. Coming to number three, though, we have the Ice Enhancer mod. And this is pretty much just an ENB. It's, like, something, obviously, that makes the game look a lot better than what it is. Now, the guy has already said that he is going to be working on GTA 5, So, hopefully, we'll see something uh, soon. Maybe he'll give us some updates on it. But if you guys don't know what this is by now, I'll go ahead and put up some pictures on the screen. Like, you can just see... These are all from GTA 4, but it's incredible what the game looks like with this mod. Like, some of these pictures almost look like real life. It's incredible. And honestly, this this would probably work in online because it is just textures. Like, it's nothing that would give anybody an advantage. So that's another benefit. Like, a lot of these mods that I'm going to be talking about, you know, in single player, it would be cool. But, you know, a lot of these things you want to play with friends. And, and a lot of people do play online more than single player. So... That's what I'm kind of going for here. Moving into number two, I'm just going to say the LC PDFR mod, or I guess it would be the SA PDFR mod, but only because I, I want some sort of like police cops and robbers type of mod where you could have the option to play as a cop. Basically, in this mod in, in GTA 4, you played as the cop and you would do things like stop people for running a red light or if they did something illegal, you would stop and write a ticket. Or, you know, even if somebody was, say, robbing a bank, then you could go and do that and it'd be a little bit more action-packed. And if you had something like this on online where there was, like, the free roam aspect, but you were the cop, we've always said in the past, like, if Rockstar would ever implement some sort of game more like this, that'd be awesome. But if they were to do it through a mod, then that's, you know, even better. And similar to number five, it would sort of be like a lobby of its own, but I mean, I think this would be really fun to have. 
And then coming in at number one, this one is sort of a broad mod, I guess you could say. It's basically dedicated servers for online. And the reason this is important is because online, the way it is now, Rockstar doesn't want people to mod it. Like, they have the shark card thing, and that's fine because that's how they make money off it since everything's free, like all the DLC. And they don't want people going in online with trainers or with like an Iron Man mod or whatever and giving them an unfair advantage because it is an unfair advantage and I completely understand that and that's why dedicated servers are so important what this would allow is you know one you could have these giant servers role play servers stuff like that uh, you could also have private dedicated servers where you could go on there with an Iron Man mod or with a Hulk mod or a trainer and play with friends while not affecting all the people who just want to play regular GTA Online and ruining their experience. And ideally, so Rockstar wouldn't get really upset about these dedicated servers. They wouldn't really work with the GTA Online money and leveling aspect. Like, pretty much it would be a giant sandbox mode where you go in there, what you do in there stays in there. You know, you can have all these options. You can even have the director mode in there so you could turn, you know, cops off. You could change the weather, change the time of day. You could have all this stuff and have it not affect regular GTA Online because again that's the one thing Rockstar doesn't want they don't want people affecting the regular GTA Online and these dedicated servers are the best way to go about that because as cool as like some of these single player mods would be they would be even better to play with friends and that's like one of the sort of things that I keep seeing especially when I'm reading forums people are always talking about how oh if you're gonna use these mods online you're just a cheater you should get banned blah 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 but a lot of us don't want to use the mods online you know to ruin other people's experience we want to use the mods online to just play with friends so if we had these dedicated servers or like private lobbies then that would be perfect because at the end of the day gta 5 is the ultimate sandbox and it's probably not going to happen officially from rockstar because of the whole shark card situation but that's why we need somebody to mod and i guess reverse engineer the online to make another third party system for GTA dedicated servers because they've actually done that in the past with San Andreas like Vice City and GTA 4 even so that probably won't come till way down the line but that's like the number one thing that I I want and I'm looking forward to happening in GTA 5 but that is pretty much it with my list let me know in the comment section what you guys think and if you guys have any other mods that you want to see in GTA 5 on PC besides the ones I talked about let me know about them in the comment section. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. This video has been kind of long, but there's just so much potential. I'm so excited and passionate about, you know, mods and stuff happening in GTA. But hope you guys enjoyed again. As always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.